reasons to be able to unveil a magnificent uh, piece of artwork. And uh, certainly, uh, just to give it some context, it was about two years ago, uh, Shane Wilson, who stands before us tonight, uh, artist and uh, certainly a longtime Yukoner as well, donated this remarkable piece of artwork to the Yukon Permanent Art Collection through Friends of the Gallery. And uh, of course, given the very popularity of this particular piece, uh, not to mention uh, uh, all of the uh, months and, and years of hard work and effort and thought given into this piece, it was chosen to actually be situated here at the Canada Games Centre. So sadly, however, the sculpture went missing. Uh, it was removed from the uh, Games Centre uh, in September of 2007. And uh, of course, uh, it made uh, headline news at the time. It made uh, actually national and international news, not to mention just here in the Yukon. But you know, thanks to that headline news, uh, thanks to the good work of the RCMP, and certainly an individual in particular who made an, an anonymous uh, call, uh, we were able to recover this particular piece, and we are so grateful and so thankful for that. Uh, so, I have to say though, when the sculpture was returned, it was in relatively stable condition. However, it wasn't uh, entirely unscathed. And in fact, uh, there was some damage to this particular piece of artwork. Uh, in fact, a fragment had come off. It had been broken off during the theft. Uh, also, uh, it also sustained some staining uh, as well as some surface damage. So thanks to the good work of the Department of Tourism and Culture, uh, certainly our museum's con conservator began treatment on this particular piece of work earlier this summer. And over the course of the last few months, uh, they've done an incredible job. And uh, we're so grateful for their, uh, for their work and for their perseverance in making it happen. Um, they actually went ahead and they went to reattach the actual piece of uh, the broken time. They cleaned the surface and they also worked to mitigate discoloration as well of the sculpture. So though this beautiful piece of work still bears a little bit of um, evidence of some of its mistreatment following uh, the theft itself, I think that it will forever remain truly a piece of uh, invaluable artwork and that which makes us all very proud uh, to call the Yukon our home. And uh, we are very, very pleased to have it still housed within the Yukon Permanent Art Collection forever it will be. So the story, in fact, I have to say that because of this uh, uh, episode, unfortunately it did happen, but because of it, I, I very much believe that the story of its theft and its recovery in itself even heightens even more awareness and even more attention to this particular piece, and hopefully it will heighten uh, Yukoners and residents and uh, certainly all visitors to come and take a look at this wonderful piece of artwork. I just want to say that while we all know and understand that displaying artwork as valuable as this has inherent risks as we have seen, we also have to balance this with making art possible for the public to enjoy. And uh, we also, of course, have to work to reduce potential risks as we have just witnessed over the last couple of years. So as rare as thefts may have occurred, as they have just occurred, uh, Yukon seasons, uh, we are indeed fortunate and we are very thankful for the return of this wonderful piece of artwork back home to Yukon. Uh, to the city of Whitehorse, and to Mayor Buckway, who is here with us, to the RCMP, uh, I thank you very much um, for certainly sharing in the success story of this particular piece, Yukon Seasons in its recovery and restoration, and uh, I think it's been a great collaboration. And uh, certainly to Shane Wilson, congratulations to you uh, on seeing your work once again here on display at this Canada Game Center, which as we all see all around us, uh, it's a very well-traveled building and facility that every Yukoner, and I say every Yukoner and beyond, has grown to enjoy and really appreciate over the years. So thank you everyone for coming here to, uh, to join in this great celebration. And uh, I just urge you to share the word that it's, it's back home. Thank you very much.
It's always a pleasure to follow. It's always a pleasure to follow Minister Taylor because she's told the whole story, so she makes my job very easy here this evening. But yes, indeed, you know we we do have events in our town that are not the most pleasant events and not the ones that we like to to talk about too much. But here's another example of where the community has come together with various orders of government and and hard work by a lot of people, and we have this wonderful sculpture back in the in the Canada Game Centre well, where we really feel it belongs. And I, I Linda Rapp was telling me today how many people had come by the front counter at the Canada Game Centre after the piece was stolen and commented on how horrible it was to not have it here. So we know that when it wasn't here it was definitely missed. We're really delighted to have it back and, and indeed thank you to all the people who had a part in making sure that this was returned. And, and Shane, thank you to you for not giving up on us. And I mean, you're here to, to participate in the unveiling and really the spotlight is on you tonight. So thank you, thank you so much. And, and thanks to all of you for being here.